just in from another long day at work. Um, they wouldn't be quite so long if I actually had things to do, but when I'm not teaching, I kind of don't. Um, trying to find things to do is quite difficult, especially when you can't like explain like half the stuff you want to do. Um, it was like the elementary that I'm at today. It's the second time I've second time I've been there. Ah, second time I've been there. Um, and he gave me some books, and I was like. They're not the right books, like company books, like interact books. They had the junior high books. But it's an elementary school and I was like, oh. So I said, look, who gave it to who gave you these books? And they said, you know, so and so and I was like, right, fine. Well, give me a minute. Um, do you have a a, a PC I can use and I'll email them and get the right books sent out? And she was like, Oh what what? And I was like, computer? And she was like, hmm. Um, but anyway, we got there eventually. Um, I also have a funny feeling that that school doubles as a circus at night. Um, they have what I thought was a, a, a bike rack. And it actually turns out it's, it's a whole rack of unicycles. And then I turned the corner and seen these poles and I thought, they're getting work done, that's fair enough. And then I look closely. They were stilts. Stilts and unicycles. At an elementary school. Mm. Um Had some of the fourth graders a day. or oh, they're little cuties, they really are. Um, there was this wee one and she was so wee that they had her propped up in a cushion. <laughs> on a chair. <laughs> it was so cute. Um, it's quite strange. Um, if you're to line them all up, you can't really tell height wise what age they are. If you know what I mean. Like you know how like our little ones, like roughly the taller they are, the older they are. Well, it's not like that here. We've got some like really tall, like first and second graders and some really short, like fifth and sixth graders. And there's like a lot. So it's really hard to tell. Um <laughs> It's harder than it should be. Um but every time I go, I walk past somebody, they, they all look at me and they just go. And I go, hello, and they go, hello! <laughs> it's so goddamn cute. Um, ooh, somebody loves me. Um, yeah. Let's see. But there's not, right, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> I need to email him. Um, basically my manager, I'm saying the junior high books are junior high books and not elementary and he was like, no they are elementary. <laughs> I hate to tell you this, they are not, they, they, they look like the junior high books that I've got, but never mind, never mind. Um, yeah, and you see the nose is starting to peel um, from the tragic burning that I got on Saturday. Um, it's very faint but I have a mark there, where I was wearing what they call the Hachiban, um, which is basically like the, the sash with a colour on it. Um, <laughs> every Japanese person that sees me goes, ah, itai, itai, and points at my arms, because my arms are a nice scarlet shade. Um, <laughs> and I just went, I was buying some um, bottles of water at the supermarket, and the wee woman, Count it, they say the price of everything as it goes through, and I was like, yeah. Um, and then she went, oh, he died, he died, he died. And then she asked me something, and I was like, uh, I don't know. And I tried to say, I got it on Saturday, but all I got out was Saturday. <laughs> and then and then she butted in, because I was still wearing my name tag, and I have a name tag. Um, and she was like, oh, you're a... And she, do you know, it's really strange to tell you Japanese people are like not touchy um, and to a certain extent they're not, they're not touchy feely people but they're quite grabby and she was like, oh, grabbing me, she was like, oh, you work here, I was like, yeah, I do, legal, um, <laughs> but yeah, um, apart from that, um, the car, which, um, although it's an automatic and I was, I was, I was doubting it, I'm starting to love it. I really am starting to like it. Um, it's it's really 
and I kid you not, it's so easy to drive. Oh, it's really easy to, to drive, um, which is a bit dangerous because then I'm not like concentrating fully. But it's, oh, uh, see because it's got like no front bit and like no back bit, I could park it literally on a one pence coin. It is amazing to park. Um, and it's so easy. Just take your foot off the handbrake and away you go. Um, you don't even need to press accelerator. You can put along at two mile an hour all day if you wanted. Um, although I'm sure the police would have something to say about that. Um, not that I've seen any. I haven't seen a single policeman since I've been here. Um, yeah. It's kind of strange. There's a great big massive police station at the other end of the town. But never seen any police. I've not seen a police car yet. So I don't know what I need to look out for. So that I can slam on the brakes or whatever. So yeah. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So I'm just at the moment waiting for... What is it that comes on tonight? Oh, it's the Gilmore Girls. <laughs> mm, yeah. Um, there are promising adverts uh, for Sex in the City. Hopefully Saturday night, so with any luck, I should have some decent viewing. I've got a funny feeling that it's going to be from the very first series, though. But, what can you do? Anyway, right, I'll stop talking crap, and I'll speak to you later.